Oftentimes, a hairstyle will consist of multiple parts which are visually distinct from one another, and these parts can be achieved using partings which are covered in a separate tutorial. However, when it comes to dynamics, it is not easy to define these partings because each single guide of a hairstyle will be simulated individually and therefore, aside from colliding with one another, these guides have no way of knowing which parting they belong to. In this tutorial, we will learn how to define these parts with Ornatrix for Maya Dynamics Operator and how to make sure that the guys that are belonging to the same parts are being simulated together as opposed to behaving individually. So to start, let me just select the scalp and add some quick hair to this guy. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to need the rendering or the hair from guides. We're just going to care about the guides. And I'm going to leave the default guide count here, even though this is probably a little bit too much. First, let's separate this hairstyle into a few separate pieces. So I might select some of this and move them aside to create one piece here. Then I will select some other ones and I will move them to create another piece here. Then I will select some more guides and I might even use a brush to brush them into place like this. And I will also go towards the back and maybe create another separate part over here. So this roughly defines the separate partings that are inside of my hair. We have one here, one here, one here, and another one over here. So if we just right now naively go and add a dynamics operator, we're going to get some simulation results, but they're not very appealing because all of the hairs are kind of just falling down and they're being simulated separately by themselves. And even if I go and increase the stiffness and the spacing offset to make them behave more rigidly, you can see that they're still behaving individually and as soon as the simulation starts, they're becoming chaotic and each one is kind of falling on its own merits and not interacting with the rest of the hairs. While this might be ideal in some situation, oftentimes you want to preserve the volume of each one of these parts so that the hairs are relatively to each other, conserving their positions. And this is exactly what we can do with this group channel option over here. First, let's go and create some groups for this hair. I'm going to go to channels and I'm going to create a new channel and call it groups. So then I will select this groups option over here and I will go into the root mode and select this transit I want. I will assign it a value of one for this part over here. So I press assign value after select the channel value and then I will repeat the same steps for the other parts. So this one will be number two and then I will select this one and assign a value of three and then I will select the final part over here and assign it a value of four. We can verify that the values were assigned by selecting the channel value that we want and then pressing select by value. And we can see that the proper guides are selected which are belonging to the group that we assigned. So once we have done this, all I need to do is go into dynamics node and inside the group channel over here, I just select the groups option, which is the channel that we have just created. I might want to assign some stiffness just so they're held together better. And once I do that, I can see that now all of the strands are kind of being held together as opposed to chaotically moving around and not respecting the overall shape of the haircut. I can decrease the group stiffness, which will decrease the force that is holding these strands together. And as I do that, you can see that the strands are a little bit more chaotic, but they're still holding the shape really nicely. If you want the actual lattice, which is holding all these hairs together to start lower on the hair. So for example, you just want the base of the strands to be held together, but not the tips. You can decrease this group holder grid position option over here. And for example, if I put it to 0.5, we're going to get the tips behaving independently, but the start of the strands are going to be held together by groups. Usually it is a good idea to leave this at one so that we have all of the strands sticking together. And once you do this, your hairstyle can keep its shape. Even if your character is doing some dramatic actions, it will preserve its overall shape and allow you to have a lot more artistic creativity with your simulation. So this is it. Pretty simple for creating parts that are simulated by themselves. And I hope this will be useful in your projects. Thank you very much for watching.